So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the Tombow Rollerball refills. I really like Tombow pens, but I don't recommend them that often because they use these kind of strange little propri proprietary refills. Uh, the refills are fine, but they're not something you could probably buy locally and they don't fit in other pens. You can't get pens from other good rollerballs and put them in your Tombow. So it's just kind of a headache. So as good as the pen bodies are, I don't tend to recommend too many Tombos. Anyway, I have a few, they need refills. So I wanted to talk about these a little bit. So it's called the Tombow 05P or the 07P. It's the 0.7 millimeter or 0.5 millimeter. Uh, so it's fine or medium tip rollerball refills sold in blue or black. Usually you'll, see them, usually you'll see them in black. I bought these in blue in the 0 0.5. 0 0.7s were a lot more expensive for whatever reason, but that really comes down to just the fact that they're a little bit hard to find and you can be at the whim of the market for stuff like that. So the number one strength of these refills is that obviously they fit Tombow bodies. Like if you want to refill your Tombow egg or the very popular Tombow 505, then you need one of these. Another nice strength of this is that it uses pigmented ink. So it has pigment in the ink. So that means it is water safe. So it's like water resistant. So it's good for art uses or in and around, I don't know, something that might get wet. Basically it's like a permanent rollerball ink. Uh, and then they're pretty good writers. Like I, I really don't have any real complaints with it when I'm writing. We'll get into the writing in a minute. It's a, it's a fun rollerball to use if a little bit on the wet side, even in a 0.5 millimeter. So the downsides of this is that they're a little bit hard to find. You can't just go to your local store and buy them. And then it's a proprietary shape. So you can't get a rollerball from like a Pentel and put it in here or a Pilot and put it in here. It's just not gonna work. And some of that has to do with the length, but if it was just the length, then you could just cut down the body. Uh, but it's also the contours of this front piece here. It doesn't perfectly match the contours of a Pilot or Pentel or Zebra. So getting one of those rollerball refills and then putting it into your, uh, your Tombow is not as easy as it sounds. The rollerball refills, they come like this. They have a little plastic cap. You can see they're on the short side. You know, let's take this off. This is, uh, these are half inch markers. So they're one, two, three and a half, maybe uh, 3.75 inches long. It's, it's a pretty short little refill. Again, it's, it's just like not something that's gonna work. It's work in every pen. It's actually more along the size of a Pilot, uh, sorry, Parker style G2 refill than it is a full size refill from a rollerball. Like uh, this is a standard rollerball refill called the, sorry about that, the uh, Pelican 338. That's a European or standard rollerball refill. You can see it's actually much longer than the Tombow. Okay, comparisons out of the way. We'll see this Tombow and it will fit in, I would say the most popular pen you'd see it in is this. This is called the uh, Tombow 505. It's a full metal pen. It's, uh, it's a really nice pen body and it sells for about $20. So I'd say most people consider it to be a pretty, uh, pretty good deal. You could see the rollerball from Tombow. It has pretty standard bottom here, although the, the, this hold you'll find out is actually much wider than normal. So we need the special Tombow refill to accommodate that. And then the back is very short. Even though it's a normal size pen, we have this piece rattling around. That's supposed to be like that. And this piece kind of moves up and down in the back. So you just put it in here. Uh, there's no exposed springs or anything like that. Nothing falls out, which is nice, but slide in, uh, anyway, it slides out and there you go. The one of the quirks with the Tombow roller balls is that the extra large aperture at the front means some of the refill sticks out. Uh, to me, that's kind of ugly looking. People have pointed out to me uh, in the past that this is a feature, not a bug, because by having a little piece stick out, you can see that peak of blue or that peak of black or whatever your rollerball color is, and you know what color you're writing with. Uh, again, for me, I just find it to be a little bit unsightly, so I don't love it. But uh, yeah, some people do like it. So let's see what this ink looks like. 
So this is the Tombo Rollerball Refill 0 0.5 millimeter. And obviously it's blue. So it's a pretty nice blue refill. It has a nice dark color to it, uh, but still bluish. It's not blue black. And it looks pretty clean on this paper, even though this is pretty cheap uh, moleskin or moleskin, whatever paper. It's pretty nicely, uh, nicely performing refill. I like the fundamentals aside, like it being proprietary and me having leaking problems with these in the past. I actually do enjoy using the refill. Just throw it in the egg, and you can get a better feel for it because this is such a short pen. And this is a case where it actually makes sense. This is a really short pen, so it works with this very short refill. That's that's fine. But when you're like limiting the length of your barrel internally and making provisions for your short proprietary refill, uh, then for me that is a little bit annoying. And here it is. Fits right in the egg really nicely. Cap this, and now we're in the Tombow egg in the rollerball version. I think if you saw any of my previous Tombow refills videos, Tombow uh, Zoom Egg, Zoom A28 Egg refill, you would have seen that this thing was pretty leaky and it leaked all over this. A different one leaked all over the Zoom 505 as well. So I definitely have had some leaking problems with it, uh, but this latest batch or two I've gotten, it wasn't, it hasn't been problematic. It's really been the, uh, some of the older ones just not lasting over time. So back to the Tombow pen, if we go ahead and try to put in a standard rollerball refill in it, you'll see that the contour of the front doesn't fit. This rollerball refill is just too, uh, too small for the Tombow's uh, tip at the end, and it also extends out too far. So uh, Tombow really does have a truly proprietary shape here. And that shape is extended to kind of the other Japanese style refills. So uh, I had just shown you with that, that Pelican, that, that standard European refill, but you might say, okay, well that uses a, a straight end the way European pens often do, but what about a Japanese tip like this one? Uh, and you can see these two contours are a little bit more similar, a little bit similar, but clearly the Tombow is a good deal thicker. So if you were to get this zebra refill and put in here, same issue. It's just, it's too, too long and too big, too long and too narrow rather. So the, uh, fitting a proprietary or fit, fitting a standard refill into this proprietary body has been uh, really problematic for me and I have not found any good solutions. So I'm, uh, essentially stuck using Tombow refills within my Tombow pens, which is, uh, Again, it's not terrible, but it is very limiting. Same goes if you use a Parker style G2. This one's not even close. This design is, is way, way off. Uh, and if you put a spring in here, and I've done that pretty extensively trying to get that to work, you get your own spring, you bring it to the party with this rotring or any Parker style G2 refill, then first of all, the spring will get stuck in here. And then I have yet to find it. It's either too short or too long or uh, whatever. I had a load of issues and gotten a number of, sting, of springs caught in the front of this rollerball refill, which is uh, pretty annoying to get out. So could it theoretically work? Yeah, I think so. But even then, you have to accommodate for the really narrow width of this tip area relative to this hole. So you're wrapping this in tape and ends up just not being a really good fix at all. So basically, if you want to use a Tombow rollerball, you got to buy a Tombow refill. Uh, that said, the refills are pretty okay. They're not my favorite, but they're pretty nice writers. And I like the blue more than the black. The black is fine. I don't have one with me right now, but it's a nice dark black and it is pigmented. So it looks pretty good and it is uh, water safe. Some of them do leak. That's definitely the case. Uh, and they're uh, relatively quick drying, but that's common for a ruler ball. So it's a, uh, as you'd expect, it's a lot like a, a higher quality liquid gel, or sorry, liquid rollerball. Uh, lastly, I wanted to compare it briefly to this refill. 
This is from the, uh, the Lamy Balloon. I believe the refill is called the Lamy Balloon. This is a little bit more in that size category, but uh, Tombow, similar to Lamy, or I guess Lamy, similar to Tombow, given the video, went with a proprietary shape as well. So these two obviously are not interchangeable, but they're kind of similar in size and function. I like the Tombow is actually a better writer than the Lamy, but when I see that Tombow refill, uh, it does remind me a little bit of the Lamy. You can see here, here's the Lamy and here's the Tombow. The Tombow is definitely more of a pure blue. The Lamy is a little bit more greenish and lighter in color. So I do like the Tombow better than uh, I guess most of the rollerball refills I've been using lately. Anyway, so that is more than you ever wanted to know about the Tombow rollerball refill and a quick look or not so quick look, but a, uh, a explanation of this uh, Zoom 505, which is a, a pretty nice pen. I'll do some more coverage on this in the future. So thanks for watching.